Teach me, Teach me how to pray. How to pray. You know, a lot of us think that we really, uh, a lot of us believe that we already know how to pray. Mm. And in reality, we're still learning how to pray. Right. A lot of us think we already know how to pray, but we're still learning how to pray. Yes, Amen. Matthew 6, chapter Jesus writing. It says in uh, Matthew 6 and 5, When you pray, you should not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogue and on the corners of the street, till you're seen by men. Assured, I say they will have the reward. But when you pray, go to your room and when you have shut your door, yes. pray to your father who's in secret, and your father who sees in secret will reward you openly. Yes. And when you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think they will be heard for their many words. Therefore, do not be like them, for your father knows the things you have need of before you ask. Yes. In this manner, therefore, pray, Our Father in heaven, yes, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done mm -hmm. on earth as it is in heaven. Yes. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Uh -huh. And do not lead us into, into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory Forever. Amen. Amen. But look at the rest of it. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. If you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Say, Lord, oh. teach me teach how me. to pray. pray. Amen. I will see. Amen. Really, the sermon I'm going to preach this morning probably could take three or four sermons within itself. Not just the one sermon today, but I'm going to try to preach this sermon in one setting. Jesus says to the disciples, he says, listen, he says, when you pray, don't stand in the front of everybody making a big proclamation, an explanation, and letting everybody know, look how I can pray. Because prayer, as we said last week, is not about you and people say prayer. prayer. It's about me and God. God. When I pray, I'm not making a speech. I am actually talking to God. Watch this. Now, I understand that when we come to church, we're going to have corporate, say corporate prayer. That's when believers come together and pray out loud together. And one person may be one praying to lead the prayer. In some churches, everybody pray at the same time. You know, and, it's, and it goes up at the same time. That might be your style, it may be your form of worship, but in some way in the public, folk are going to pray out loud in the public. But let me explain something to us. What we pray in the public should all always be just what example we're praying in private. Say, so what I'm praying in public ought to be an example of what I'm praying in private. Amen. In other words, when folk hear us praying out loud at church, it should just be them looking in on a conversation that I already have going on with God. Okay. This is what Jesus says. Jesus says that Jesus says, when you pray, say go into your closet. Go into your closet. Go into your closet. And pray in secret. Say pray. Pray. In secret. And God who sees in secret will reward us openly. How do you like that? In other words, God said, you tell me your secrets, I'm going to bless you and open. Say, God, God wants to take my secrets take my to bless me Come on, in the open. Mm -hmm. If I go there quietly and say, Father, this is what I need, and Father, this is who I am, and Father, this is what I believe, he says, in the open, I'm going to bless you. Yeah. Come on, say, what kind of plan is that? Don't you like that? Yeah. Right. Say, that's a God kind of plan. Yeah. Say, I talk to God in secret, and God makes me look good in the public. Come on. Yeah. Say prayer, prayer still works. Still works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so then Jesus said, this is how you pray. Our Father which is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Didn't we sing that this morning? Yes, sir. In other words, the first thing when I'm standing in prayer, I say praise, praise ought to be the first thing I do in prayer. Yes. In other words, prayer is not reactive. Say prayer, prayer. is not reactive. Prayer ought to be, say, proactive. Proactive. I don't wait for trouble to happen and then I start praying. I don't have an ongoing dialogue with God, which I'm praising His name every day anyway. Yes. Say, Hollywood, be your name. Be your name. Mm -hmm. be your name. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So prayer then says to God, God, I'm asking you that you do your will on earth in my life. Right. God can 
controls heaven, let God control me. See, if God, God. controls heaven, yeah. heaven, he ought to be able to control me. Amen. Yes, Lord. Mm-hmm. And when you start praying like that, matter of fact, a lot of stuff that you were praying for, you're going to check yourself. Because if it's not in the will of God, if you know the God, it doesn't line up with what God wants, you say, wait a minute, I, I, I might not need to pray this because it's not the will of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Pastor, what if the will of God doesn't cover my life the way I want? No, God's will is so big. Say, God's will God. is so big and so, so, so good. Come on, you can't ever fall short of living right and, and having what you need and being successful. But some stuff that we want to pray for don't make sense. But say the will of God will of ought God. to be the first thing in my life. Right. Yes. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Mm. Watch this. <laughs> say give God, give God. glory first. Glory Hallowed first. be your name. Yes. Say then let the will of God. Say let the will of God. God. Say spiritual things. Spiritual things. Come next. Next. Then natural things. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, we a lot of times want to have what? We want to have the natural before the spiritual. Mm -hmm. But it said, let the spiritual come first, then natural. Give us a day out of daily bread. Mm -hmm. Give us what we need. Say, what I need. Say, what I need. What I need. Not what I want. Yes. Oh, yeah, God will give you something you want, but first you got to get your needs met. God don't want you to just always just be barely getting by, but first of all, God says recognize that you got to depend on me to be successful. Right. Depend, on, depend on me just to make, say, give us, say, give us give our us. daily bread. Daily bread. Then look at this. Hello. Then God deals with the human nature of all individuals and all human beings and every person in the world because we all have sinned, say, we all have sinned oh, and fell short. Of the glory of God. He says, Forgive us our debts as we forgive others their debts. In, every, in, in other words, every day you pray, so every day I pray, every day I pray, I need to ask God to forgive me for doing wrong. Right. Oh, I don't, I don't know if you really believe that or not. Yeah. I know some of us get so holy and so right, and we're just so full of the Holy Ghost, and we just so so righteous and self right. And look, look, we ain't never done no, I, I don't see it no more. The devil said, The devil is alive. And you lying too. Oh, oh, to real people. Real, people. real life. Real life. The Bible says every day, say, forgive us our debts. Yeah. Say, I owe God. I, owe God. I say, I owe God oh, a God. debt. A oh, you don't get me. A yeah. debt I owe. I cannot pay. But forgive me my debt as I forgive others their debts. Yes, sir. And then give me the correction for the situation. Lead me not into temptation. Because I know I'm falling. Because I know that I'm messing up. Because I know I need forgiveness. Help me, Lord. I don't go down that path anymore. So lead me. Lead not to temptation. Not to but deliver me yeah. from the evil one. Mm, you don't hear me. Say prayer. Prayer. Still works. Still works. The believer has to have in his heart and her heart every day. Father, forgive me of my debts as I forgive others their debts. Mm. Lead me not into temptation, but deliver me from evil. Mm. Let me ask you something. How many of you pray this prayer every day? Growing up, we had to pray it every day. But here, let me give you the problem with quoting it. Just don't quote it. Say, just don't quote it. Just say, mean it. That's why I asked you that question, how many of you pray it every day? Because we just wrote by just doing it by memory. And not paying attention to what we're saying is just the ritual. Right. Yes, yes. Say, I don't need a ritual. Say, I don't need a ritual. Say, I need a relationship. I don't need religion. I don't need religion. I need God. Don't you hear me? So I need to pray this prayer and mean it. Deliver me from evil. For thine to thine. Our sister sung it last week. Say, thine is the kingdom and the power. Come on. And the glory. Come on. Say, God is God all by himself. And he's God like that. And if God be God, if God be God, let every man be alive. Say, if God be God, say, God can change situations in my life. God can make things new in me. God can make things happen for me. So that's why, so that's why, that's why. I pray like that. Yes. But then Jesus gives the qualification for the prayer. And I don't believe a lot of us even go past that next verse. And this is why the prayer is hindered. He says, if we don't forgive people their trespasses, 
God will not forgive us our trespasses. Right. In other words, he said, let me tell you something. He says, if you, when you pray and say, Lord, forgive me, my debt says, I forgive other their debts, but you holding something against somebody, you're blocking the prayer. Say, I'm blocking? Blocking. The prayer. Oh, y'all got quiet on me now. <laughs> In other words, read it. He says, if you, if you forgive me and their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Yeah. But if you do not forgive them their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. The qualification for that prayer is this. If I'm holding something in my heart, in my mind, in my spirit, some hurt, some pain, some ill feelings towards somebody, I've got to forgive them within myself so that God can forgive me for myself. Yes. Yes. Oh, come on. Yes. How many are willing to do that, huh? Oh, yes. How many are willing to do that, huh? This is something that really, that the church really so deals really with. trying to tear folk down, you don't hear me? Amen. We can't beat, lift nobody up. You know what I'm saying? Amen. We're so busy trying to trying to find out what's wrong with everybody that we don't know how to come on. Say, wrap your love. Say, wrap your love wrap around it. somebody. Right. Say, prayer yeah. still works. Yeah. If you learn how to forgive, say, Lord, I forgive. Yeah. God will forgive you. Oh, I hmm. Say, prayer yeah. still works. Still works. Say, I must forgive. Must forgive. For it to work. Second thing, so I can't have any doubt. Have any doubt. Go to Matthew 21. Matthew 21. Lord, teach me how to pray. Matthew 21. Can't have any doubt. Matthew 21, verse 21. Matthew 21, verse 21. So Jesus answered and said to them, Surely I say to you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what is done to the fig tree, but also if you say to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, it will be done. Whatever things you ask in praying or in prayer, believing, you will receive. Say whatever. Say whatever. You ask in prayer, believing, you will receive. Right. Mm -hmm. Why pray about it? Then fuss about it. Mm -hmm. Why pray about it? Then complain about it. Why pray about it? Then worry about it. Why pray about it? Then doubt about it. Tell them, say pray about it and be about it. Say pray about it and be about it. We we pray for something and then we we, we call everybody else on the phone to fuss about it. Yeah. You just hurt the prayer because why? You didn't keep that thing with me. Come on, like, you went in the prayer closet, prayer closet, prayer closet. and prayed in God in secret. And God didn't tell nobody, but you went and told everybody. You know what I mean? Why go tell God your secret, then go try to tell everybody else? Don't you believe? Say, don't I believe <laughs> that God can work it out? Yes, yes. Now, if you got a prayer partner, that's one thing that's going to say intercessory. That's when two or three of you touch and say, touch yes. and agree. Yes. In the name of Jesus, what he says in Matthew 18, he says, if any two of you touch and agree, I'm there in the midst, and if you believe. But if you got to call everybody to tell everybody what you're praying about, you don't believe what you're praying about. You're trying to get them to convince you. Say, so I don't need nobody, so I don't need anybody, to convince me that God can do what he says he's going to do. Amen. You don't hear me? Uh, we're praying about it, and he's going to gossip everybody about it. No, so don't gossip about it. Pray about it and complain to everybody. So don't complain to everybody about it. Say pray about it be about and be about it. Be about it. Now I know if you go in agreement with one or two or three people, that's okay. But sometimes we go to pray and then we're gonna tell everybody around the whole neighborhood what's going on. No, say pray about it. Pray about it. And be about it. Be about it. If you come to church to receive prayer for something, when you come to church and receive it, when you say bring it to the altar, bring it to the altar. say bring it to the altar, bring it to the altar and leave it there. And leave it. We bring it to the altar, we pray about it, and we do, we go back and pick it back up. Hmm. I come to get prayer because somebody doing me something on my job. Okay, we're gonna stand in agreement, brother. And we go pray about it, pray about it. Then tomorrow you're back with that same situation. Say pray about it and be about it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if y'all ready for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. I watch people, I'm serious. People they do the same thing over and over and over again, over and over. But if now let me show you something. Remember Elijah kept getting prayed until what? Until what? 
The rain came right. So it don't mean you don't start praying for the same thing. If you got to keep praying until you can get to God to deliver you. But if you're going to pray about it, don't go fuss about it. If you're going to pray about it, don't go doubt about it. If you're going to pray about it, don't go get to say pray about it and be about it. And put it on the altar. How many of you take the of a burden and pick the burden back up? That's because we doubt it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean you're not going to heaven. I'm not talking about people going to heaven. I'm talking about having a bunch of life right now. I'm not talking about people getting lost and going to hell. I'm talking about folk getting say life yeah. and living it to the full. Say pray about it. Yeah. Believe, Believe it. And receive what God has for you. Okay? You don't believe me? Watch this. Go to St. John 15. I'm going to show you something. St. John 15. Tell you how this show, let me tell you how we pray. Because a lot of times we learn prayer from watching other people pray. And some stuff is traditional, but it's not the word. St. John 15. Say, teach me. Teach me. How to pray. How to pray. Amen. St. John 15. Watch this. St. John 15 and 7. St. John 15 and 7. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you desire, and it shall, say, it shall. Be done for you. Go down to the 16th verse. You did not choose me. I chose you. Remember I preached that before? And appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and your fruit should remain. That whatever, say whatever, you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. Say whatever, you ask the Father in Jesus, as in Jesus, name, He'll give it to you. Right. Let me show you something. We get all excited about it. Um, uh, Philippians, the second, second chapter. Say, God has given a name. Say, God has given a name. Yes, Above every name. Above every name. In the name of Jesus, every knee, what? Shabbat. And every tongue shall confess, right? right? We get excited about that, right? This is how it works. Say, that name, that name. is the name you're praying. Right. Let me make it even plainer. Sometimes I say, Lord, I, if it be your will, I'll be so careful. To give your name to pray. No, no, no. Say, Lord, Lord, I know, I know your, will your will will be done, be done in, my life. in my life. And in the mighty, say the mighty, mighty. name of Jesus, yes. I, pray. I pray. Oh, I know it sounds sweet to say in the darling sweet name. I know it sounds sweet, but that's going to say he's not darling sweet no more. <laughs> yes. Say he's not darling sweet no more. <laughs> he say he's not married baby no more. Say the mighty, mighty. name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. In the matchless, say matchless. You know what that means? Say it can't be compared to, say powerful, say powerful. Wow. Name of Jesus, say name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. I, when you pray like that, when cancer show up, you can pray, say pray, and that name can overcome it, you know what I mean? When you pray like that, and death shows up, and bankruptcy, and poverty, say that name, say that name. Yeah. We'll yeah. conquer that thing. When you pray like that, and trouble show up, uh, like all hell break loose, say in the power, say powerful. Wow. Name of Jesus. I'm asking as I belong to God. Whatever I ask, he shall. Come on. Give it to me, say the power. Yeah. Wow. Say powerful. Wow. Yes, sir. Powerful. Name of Jesus. We got to pray. Say pray. pray. Like you're trying to take over something. Say, yeah. say it's a takeover. It's a takeover. Say, say pray. pray. Like you're trying to get into something. Yeah. See, it's one thing to get delivered out of Egypt. It's another thing to get delivered into the promised land. Right. We're so busy trying to get free. Take them. Say, I want to get say, take over. Take over. Say, get into something get in. in the name, say the name, name. of Jesus. Jesus. Say, what's his name? What's his name? Say, Jesus. Jesus. Say, what's his name? What's his name? Say, Jesus. Jesus. Say, I pray, I pray. in that name. Yeah. I move in his name. Yeah. I act in his name. Yeah. I believe in his name. Say, I shall receive. Say, receive. receive. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. That's how you got to start praying. Yeah. Come on, doctor. That's how you got to start praying. I tell you how to work. Get on 610 and get your car start spinning around. You can't say nothing but Jesus. I bet you can get out of it. Yes, Come sir. on, say, if yes, I can't sir. say nothing but Jesus, say nothing, nothing. but Jesus. 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 Say Jesus. Ah, y'all don't understand it. See, y'all don't work. That's what's wrong. That's why you can't handle it. Buddha can't handle it. Muhammad can't handle it. Whoever we have, they can't handle it because just so, say something, something but the name Jesus. Amen. Say something, come on, but the name Jesus. Yeah, right. Say rose, say rose yeah. with all power uh, in his name. Yeah. And in that name, I pray. In that name, I believe. And when I need something, I'm not 
ain't gonna say sweet daughter name. I'm gonna say the name, say the name of Jesus. Say emphatically, I say it. In the name of Jesus, I say it like I mean it. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus will get somebody off a crack if you need them to. Jesus will get that child out of that game. Come on. Say Jesus. Jesus will change somebody that's been an alcoholic and can't get free. Jesus will break that drug habit. Say Jesus. He'll break that problem. Come on, say he's a problem fixer. Come on, say, oh, you don't hear me? Say a heart regulator. A mind. Come on, say Jesus. I said something. Something. About the name. Jesus. Say whatever. Whatever. You ask the Father in my name. Come on, you'll have it. Say Jesus. Say teach me how to pray.